What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some Buccaneer news. They're making some some big trades, wheeling and dealing, and they picked up a guard since they lost Ali Marpet to, due to retirement. Ali, Alex Kappa signs with the Bengals to protect Joe Burrow, and the Buccaneers end up getting Shaq Mason, one of the best guards in the league, in my opinion, and for only a fifth-round pick. What a steal this seems to be. Let's break it down on the tape. So, plus, initially, Mr. 69 right here. Shaq Mason, what do you see? Yeah, Shaq Mason is, like you said, a very good guard in this league, uh, especially in the run game. I think he's a perfect fit for what the Bucs want to do, especially with their gap scheme, you know, duo runs, as you're going to see here, getting on two guys, nice little double there, just pushing this guy off, and then he's going to quickly, subtly change to the other direction real fast, as you see there, just quick contact and power. Yeah, the contact balance, we usually use that with running backs, but... Look how nimble this guy is. He's 6'1", 330 pounds, or whatever he is. But look how nimble to get into this block and feel that this guy's not getting picked up and to immediately get over there to, to get this block. This is knowing your assignment, knowing where you're at, and what needs to be done. I mean, yeah, the, the play goes for a loss, but it's not. don't look at this side. Look at what your, your man that you're evaluating is doing. I mean, that's heady, that's smart, that's quickness. That's, that's good stuff for your guard. I mean, there's a reason why he's a pro bowler. Again, another double right here. Gets the initial, gets second level, get the linebacker. A lot of good stuff. What do you see? Right. I mean, definitely good stuff. And like you said, his size being at 6'1", he's already the, the low man. And usually low man wins. So he does a great job of just keeping his body and pad level at the right height. And then able to move, you know, very agilely just up the field and, and make, make blocks. As you're going to see here again. Now he's pulling, so athletic enough to get around the corner, make a block, push his guy off off the line. I mean, really solid. I think the Bucks are going to love what they're going to get from Shaq Mason, who has been a very consistent uh, offense alignment for the last several years. Yeah, people don't give appreciation to these big boys. I mean, this is athletic traits here. I mean, he's having to avoid all the trash in the way as he's going across People are getting pushed back. He has to avoid all that to get to his block. And look at him, swimming around, getting to his man, pushing forward. Good stuff. And there was plenty of running tape in this game. This is the game where I think Mac Jones only threw the ball five times. It was ridiculous. But, again, check him out, pulling around, being the lead guy for the block over here. Check it out. Mark, plus, tell me a little bit more. Well, yeah, and this is a concept that the Bucks run a lot. So I, I think just the trade overall was it made a lot of sense. You're getting a, a elite guard in, in Shaq Mason, and especially uh, you're already down Alex Kappa and Ali Marpet. So you had to make some type of move to get elite talent like this in Shaq Mason, who can play either right guard or left guard wherever they want to put him. Uh, but yeah, just very natural in the run game. Just his ability to move here, as you see, getting downfield, creating. A, a nice gap here. I mean, just really good stuff here. I think is similar uh, thing where he's just going to keep moving and really create this play, and it, it allows for the touchdown. As you see, he clears out that guy coming across. Yeah, wide, wide ass open. We like to say over here, but it is his ability to pull, his ability to man up blocks, his ability to get downfield with blocks in the second level, and then clearing things open for an eventual touchdown. But this guy, he checks a lot of boxes. That's something else we say. I mean, if you need a man up, check him out here. One-on-one, -on -one, winning with technique, not just power. Look at this leveraging. Sit down. Let me open it up for another touchdown. So, again, he's got good feet, good hips, powerful hands. And look at this. Low man wins. Jeffrey Simmons is one hell of a defensive tackle in this league. He just pushes him out of the play, and he just looks, like, tired after the play. Like, just out of the play completely. What do you think with that one? Well, yeah, like you said, it's just... You know, low man wins, a good technique here, good hand usage, using pretty much his legs and arms together. And that's something, you know, we talk about, you know, being connected with your blocks. And I think he does a great job of doing that. Now in pass protection, still very good pass protector as he's going to use that wide base, get low, butt down, anchor. And you see he just absorbs the, the contact very well, um, not getting pushed back too much and just sets and you're done. Yeah, the hand battling is there, but like you said, the legs working with the arms. And if you don't have a counter against him, you're not really going to win. He's just so consistent, too. I didn't see him get beat like off the snap very much at all. I mean, even here, check out the anchoring. Look at his butt get down. Look how wide he is right there. 
This guy's trying to bulldoze through him with a bull rush. It ain't going to work. Finally gets loose with a, a spin move, but the ball's coming out already. So, I mean, there's anchoring and then just annoyance. Like, guys are just not going to continue to fight because they're just obsessively getting pushed back, back, and back. So, I, I like a lot of Shaq Mason. Still can't believe we traded a fifth rounder for this guy. No, I, I can't agree more. I mean, getting a, a talent like this, again, a, a young guard who's just turning into his prime at, at 29 years old, and you got him for the next two seasons. I think it's an excellent move. He's already played with Tom Brady uh, with New England, so there's familiarity there. But, yeah, I mean, this is really good stuff here. And, and look at that right there. As he makes the initial block, down block, he sees that Jeffrey Simmons is sneaking through. Like, I don't even know how he sees him. His head's turned the other way, but he just feels it. <laughs> and then he's able to, you know, get enough of him, and it ends up being a touchdown. So. The, the overall awareness is is already there. So he's got everything you want in a, in a guard, whether that's at the left side or the right side. He can play either or. And look, it's picking up the stunt game. This is something where Alex Kappa wasn't the best at at times. This is just awareness, smarts, like you just mentioned, little things that add up that win the games. This is nice. I mean, the defensive tackle, stunt, oops, I'll pass him off. He's going to try and come at me with a long arm, push that bad boy straight down, and just get in with the block. I like it. I mean, Shaq, a savvy, savvy player. The name itself, Shaq Mason, love it. And just picking up blitzes. Look at this one, too. Check him out. Awareness. Oh, he's not coming in. Let me get over. The quickness, the agile for a guy that size. I like it. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I think smarts, you know, intelligence for offense alignment is, is a trait that usually goes unnoticed, but it really it's very important. Uh, you got to have the ability to read what's coming at you very quickly. Also determine, you know, what kind of, you know, uh, stunt games, you know, defensive line pass rush moves they're going to tr try to throw at you. But here, I mean, this guy thinks he won initially, but no. I mean, Shaq just does a great job of regaining balance. I mean, look at that balance control and, and still makes a, a good block, allows Mac Jones to get away. Isn't that crazy, right? I mean, look, he should be thrown to the ground, regains it immediately. And that's, I guess, being 6'1 comes to his advantage on this one. Same thing, this guy initially wins. Shaq jumps to the left. This guy's going to the right. It should be a clean win. Like I said, I didn't see him get beat many times on tape and just corrects. The corrects, anchors, stays his ground, and just enough space to get that ball out. This is like a Tom Brady throw. This is a hell of a throw by Mac Jones, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But overall, I mean, Shaq Mason, great addition to the Bucks' offensive line. We needed it. But guys, let us know down below. Do you like the, the pickup? Do you like the trade? Do you like the value? Let us know down below. Comment down below. Like the video if you haven't just yet. Subscribe. We're bringing up great Bucks content and a whole lot of draft content as well. And with that said, until the next one.